Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I was thinking to do a closet clean out and organizing. I haven't really filmed anything like regarding the house and like organization. I hope that you have your coffee in hand. Basically, I do a closet clean out every few months and today we're gonna get rid of some bags. I will be selling some bags. We're gonna talk about that. I also plan to clean my bags. I definitely have like different lipsticks in different bags. I also need to organize my clothing and I'm gonna give you like a little bit of a tour update on the closet. So yeah, we're gonna clean all of this and yeah, we're gonna read up a few clothes three bags maybe four We're gonna talk about that on this video a few shoes and decluttering it's Sunday I have absolutely nowhere to go and I don't know why but if my house is not like tidy and organized I feel like I'm not as productive. I do like to watch um, decluttering videos on YouTube. So I thought this could be entertaining. So here we are. I didn't dress up much. I'm just wearing my Max Mara blue shirt, a pair of blue shorts and a white tank top. And the coffee of the day is a double espresso. I still have last week's clothes that I need to wash in here. So we do have a little bit to do. I think first I'm gonna start with the bags. We're gonna take them all out, clean them. We're gonna put away the ones that we're gonna sell. Then we're gonna go for shoes, clean them a little bit while we chat, then the clothes, then my vanity. In the meantime, we're gonna be chatting and I'm also gonna put the aesthetic shots of like everything getting organized so the first thing that i want to note is that there are shoes that need cleaning bags that need to get like closed and organized like some bags are not even really supposed to be there like the pearl mini doesn't go there anymore and um yeah i like it's not super messy but it's definitely not the most organized Okay, so I have the first section of bags right here behind me. We're gonna do the rest when we're done with this one. The only thing that I use to clean them are alcohol-free baby wipes. I'm sure that there's way better things out there to clean your bags, but this is what I like to use and what really, really works for me. So basically what I'm gonna do is take everything out, um, separate the ones that I'm planning to sell, put the organizers inside of the bags, giving them a quick clean and so on. So let's chat in the meantime about the bags that I want to sell and why. I'll start by closing and cleaning the Alchemist bags and putting them out of the way because I'm not selling this. They're definitely not going anywhere, but I'm definitely going to find like a lot of random stuff inside of my bags. It's probably one of my toxic traits that I never fully take everything out. I actually hope that I'm able to find my AirPods because I have absolutely no idea where they are. One down. For the mini Kelly, I'm probably just gonna take this strap off and put it inside. I really like to do this every month. It's not super messy, but enough that like I just know that it's not very well organized and I want to have it like very clean, especially with the handbags and more because I don't really store them with the dust bags. So I need to be like responsible and have them like in the cleanest environment that I can. There was nothing inside of this one. I want to take the clochettes out and just put them inside of the bags. I just don't like them like brushing on the bag because I, I think they're gonna end up like denting the back right here. The AirPods. I'm not sure if I'm the only person that is like this, but I lost my keys, like the house keys for a long while, a couple of weeks ago. And they were indeed inside one of my bags. I just, I forgot that I was using that bag that day. I'm gonna try to be a little bit better with my bags in that sense. So I put the strap and the clochette inside of the organizer. And if you want a little tip, I always have inside of like my most precious bags an air tag. It's always like hidden somehow, but also in case you ever forget about it not that i'm ever going to forget them but it's just like a tip and one thing that does help me a lot to store my bags are my organizers i have one for almost all of the bags that i have i have a few bags that are newer and i still haven't ordered my some more organizers in case you were looking for something to care for your bag i really like to use them when the bag is leather lined on the inside so the keys and stuff they're not gonna scratch the interior and also to maintain the shape of course in case anyone is interested i do work with Samorga and i do have a discount code i don't get a commission out of it it's just for you in case you need it my personal recommendation is that if the bag doesn't have a lot of structure like my lady dior i would highly recommend you to go for 2.2 millimeters and if the bag is structured and you don't want to take much space from the bag i do recommend you to go for the thinner version and, and they do have tons of colors for you to choose from so you can match the interior of the bag and you get extra pockets so every time that i add a new bag i do order an organizer for it so i'm gonna link um some more in the description box down below also if you're interested this is very good for 
for your bags it's a handbag hook and this is from carry so you just press this one and you can put it on the table and so your bag doesn't ever have to be on a chair or on the floor or behind you it's just like right there next to you it's very good i usually always have this inside of my bags so this is one of the bags that would potentially need an organizer this is my lady dior in the medium and you can see the loss of structure right here here is the first bag that is gonna leave my collection i promise that i took my time to really really think about it i didn't want to have any regrets with any of the bags that i was gonna let go and i did mention in one of my videos that since i got this bag i stopped using my kelly to go and also i did order a new bag from Redelux. i do have a rule and if i buy one bag i need to sell another bag but i also been like feeling like i just don't want to keep adding and adding without letting things go and keeping my collection like very useful and true to myself so i just feel like i was not using my kelly to go in blue room enough so i'm gonna give close up i'm gonna send this bag alongside with other ones to really look for them to sell them i think this one was the hardest for me to sell because i truly love the kelly to go so so much it was one of my most used bags that i had in my collection and i did try to use it more this past week but i still keep preferring to use them in Kelly so I do feel like it's best to let it go and let the new bag feel a gap that I do have in my collection instead of just keeping it because it's blue bloom I love the color I hope that someone gets to enjoy it but yeah this is definitely leaving this and the picota I decided to also sell the picota because I'm just in the mood of downsizing so three bags are leaving this is one of it I still have one on the chopping block but I'm gonna pack this one the picota is already in its box so you're not even gonna see it on the this video and it's also going to relax it's really easy to sell with them so i thought that it was going to be a very easy process for me they are already going to send me the shipping label i don't even have to worry about that and there's no customs shipping to them so you don't really have to worry about buying or selling which was one of the most important things because right now with wedding i have a lot to update you guys on but selling is quite stressful and time consuming and i just didn't feel like i had the time so we'll be shipping those three bags to them this is the first one and the pickle top this is the only one that i think i'm considering to store with dust bag because our apartment like it was renovated right before we moved so it's still like a little bit dusty here and there i would die if anything happened to this bag like die i love it so much so it's still pristine like i have not done any single like bot or stain so i am very proud about this one now what i say about cleaning your bags with baby wipes is first of all the baby wipes they have to be alcohol free always remember that and you should never like rub it too much I usually just keep them like a quick clean, like especially from the bottoms and the corners, which is usually where they rub against your clothes or when you place them down or whatever. I take the strap off or whatever it has on the inside and I just put it on the shelf. This is another bag that kind of needs an organizer. It's very hard for me to have it like standing up. It keeps like falling down. So I might get an organizer for this one. I decided that my jumbo is staying. I just don't feel that it's worth selling it for the resale price that it has right now versus what it would be if I ever were to regret it so it is staying and I'm sure that once we hit fall and winter I'm gonna start reaching for it a little bit more with the coats like right now I don't carry that much but I am sure that at some point um, I'm really gonna start to reach for this more and more Okay, so right now dealing with this side i want to take out the first one that i'm gonna sell and we are going to talk about it but first i want to like focus and clean here a little bit these are the bottom ones but basically i'm just gonna clean them a little bit tuck the chains make sure that there is nothing inside of the bags and you know all of that this is the last bag that i used and i have my wallet inside receipts and cards and two chapsticks <laughs> See what I mean that it doesn't really stand up? So right now I'm gonna use a chain as counterweight. That way it just stays. Now the bottom section, here's your green flap. Cleaning the corners a little bit for most of the bags, but they all look in very, very good condition. Now this is the top section and this is the bag that I'm like, I am not sure if it's staying, if I'm gonna let it go. But for now, since I am not sure, I want to be completely sure the day that I do it, so it's gonna stay. So to the shelf it goes. Same for this too, just checking that there's nothing inside of the bags. 
here is my speedy that I think. Yep, there's coins inside. Okay, so I wanted to give a little bit of an explanation for this one. I finally decided that it's time to let it go. I'm honestly just not using it enough to justify still having it in my collection. And I think that someone else could give it more love and use. And as I said before, like, I don't want to just accumulate bags and not really reach out for them. And I'm just not dressing in a way that I think this is fitting my style anymore. As much as I have love and appreciation for the bag and sentimental attachment, I think it's also healthy to let go so we're practicing that i know that i'm gonna feel a little bit bad about it but it cycles this one is going to and trust me i am sad about it it was the first bag that i fell in love with it's what started this youtube channel it's what started my love for bags in general and why i made this youtube channel i mean it was not just this bag like it was many bags but it was like the first one that i saw like ever on pinterest and i was like that's so pretty i really like it i really want it i haven't really been reaching out for it in the past two to three years i I think it's just probably the best for me to rehome this bag. So it is a very good condition and the one that has a zipper like exposed because I did have a lot of quality issues with um, two Palm Springs Mini to be specific. Now I have this corner which is usually where I put a lot of random things but also I have a few bags on the top. This is where my Polina bags are. The thing is that most of them have different heights. Some of them have handles, some of them don't. There are some of them that don't stand still so I put them like this <laughs> if it makes sense so they can like be up together. Also this one. So I'm hoping that makes sense. And here is where I put my knees and this is where I have like my Dyson and all my hair products and I don't like to put it on the bathroom so I put it right in this spot. Not sure why but my iPad is also here. This is where it goes. For some reason my iPad too but I always know that it's right there. Organization doesn't always need to have sense. Sometimes you just know where things are. And right down here we have my mini bag collection. So this is my number one. My micro number enough. And I have two Amato Daniele bags. This is the one that was inspired by Lady Diana and it has the shelf in gold and this is my velvet one so yeah i basically put them here because it kind of makes sense so this is where the mini bags are and for now we're gonna keep them there and this is going to be the last one and i usually put it down there so we're done basically with the handbags so the last bag to tackle is my keeper this bag still has my dirty clothes from playing polo last week so i need to take that out and i need to wash them i always do the same and then i promise you that this week when i have to go play and the pants are not clean i'm gonna be complaining but yeah i've been using this one for that i actually added my rodeo to this one and i think it looks pretty pretty cute with the luggage tag my key is on the 45 in case anyone was wondering but really talking about polo like the sport not my fiance it really started as something new that i wanted to try out because i've always been into sports and i'm someone that really wants to have like a thing that I can focus on that is not a job or videos or whatever so I, I just need something I need like to be in nature or something like that since I'm not sailing right now not because I don't want to it's a little bit complicated and I don't plan to buy a boat right now doing polo right now has been so amazing I think we're actually quite good at it I don't plan to compete professionally but I am working into possibly going to tournaments like friendly casual ones at some point it's so exhausting like the first few times that I got off the horse like I couldn't even walk I think this one is okay some stuff I can leave inside that I don't want to forget for next week I even got some horse socks like are they so cute so yeah surprisingly something that started like oh let's see if I like it I fell in love with it and I will continue to do it so let's see where it goes nothing like selling of course if I was giving the option I would probably go back to selling like in a hard bit but not competing I don't really think that I ever want to compete anymore but for now I've seen such an improvement in my mood and my mental health since I'm literally going somewhere to do something that is just for my enjoyment and of course I'm not good at it yet but I'm hitting the ball a few times and when I hit the ball it's so like thrilling and I love the horse like she's so freaking smart I love to be in contact with animals I used to do horseback riding when I was a kid and I cannot explain it but it just like it fixes my mood I'm less depressed my anxiety has gone down since I'm doing it and something that I'm also doing is I'm taking one day of the week just to go to the beach because I don't really take Sundays off. Sundays I film, like today I'm filming because my neighbors are reforming like their apartment and during the week there's like so much noise that it's very hard to sit down and film without you guys hearing it. I also clean on Sundays. I don't really 
can take Sundays off. So I take one day of the week and I go to the beach and I'm finding my way to give myself the space to disconnect and relax and do things that I truly enjoy. Something that I was not doing before. So I was super burned out. I feel better. So my recommendation to anyone doesn't have to be polo or anything horse related, but the term go touch some grass has a lot of truth in it. Like for real, go touch some grass and you're gonna thank me for it because when you get like the sun and you're just out there and you exercise and do stuff like you just feel better and if you do it consistently it becomes part of your routine and i don't know how to explain it it has definitely changed a lot in my routine and the way that i had been feeling keep hold on i'm gonna put it up now let's organize the shoes i do have a few that i want to either clean or declutter like there's a few that i'm not sure if i want to sell or not like this sneakers i did just order from farfetch a pair of prada heels but i'm gonna show you a picture i found them for the like wedding weekend because they have the thick heel and because it's gonna be on grass i do need a little bit more of support when those arrive i'll make sure to unbox them because i'm really really picky with heels i hardly find pairs that are comfortable like these ones are very comfy my only issue is that they sleep a lot on the back so i think i just need to adjust them a little bit so yeah let's put them back just gonna do the drawers with the SLGs and the jewelry which I think they're almost perfect I try to be very organized with that because if not it just gets super messy really fast so here in the back is basically where I put the twillies for the bags I'm gonna put my airpods here because usually when I reach out for them it's when I'm gonna go out the watch chapeau necklace as I counted as an SLG and not really a bag, I put it right here. My Kelly to go used to go in here, like it does fit in one of these. Since it's leaving, I'm just gonna put here my passport holder and filling the gap. I don't have as many SLGs as I used to have, but I honestly think it's uh, the best. For now, I only have uh, my two card holders. This one that I would never ever sell because I love it. It was my first Chanel piece ever. Then I have the white card holder that I also love. My Constant Slim that I also double as a wallet sometimes. My Chanel Snap card holder, which is, I would say, my most used wallet. This is what I use usually for my keys. Of course, the passport holder. And this is my O case, which is like my little catch-all inside of my bags. The rest here is like back here. I have my twillies, belts and straps. And here I have like the little pouches where you put the clochette or the carry. Now let's go for my jewelry drawer, which is this one. And this is very much organized. I try to keep it as clean as I can. So yeah, basically I, here I have my idol pieces. Here I have my watches and bracelets. Well, I have another bracelet right there. Rings, earrings, pearl pieces, yeah. bag in question that I'm still like on the fence if I want to let it go or not I'm not gonna do it yet because it feels kind of sad yet and I use it sometimes not as much as this one but yeah it's gonna stay for a little bit longer I just want to make sure that there's like absolute no regrets as for the shoes I say a few of the ones that I saved are going to go but first I definitely need to clean them a little bit I'm a little bit unsure about the Dior ones I like them but I don't use them as much anymore so I don't know and clothing wise I did a clean out at the beginning of the summer i think i want to do another one because of course i want to keep a healthy amount of sweaters i know that i have way too many and shirts because sometimes like i just keep them because i like them i'm definitely gonna clean out some shirts dresses no but yes with shirts and sweaters and this is a finished result so i do store a few things like 
up there. That's the box for my Lambandras, a random hat, and the Kipo. This is a little couch that I recently got, and I actually have found it very nice. Sometimes I sit here just to fold clothes or even to edit or read a little bit. It's quite comfy. I've kind of divided it by Chanel section, and up there, there's Pelin, Chanel, and Vuitton, and that is the Hermes section. The new bag, I have no idea where it's going to be able to fit, and um, this is like the little corner that I have for the mini bags. Denise that I absolutely love. Highly recommend to anyone that has a lot of skincare or hair products. And um, my two Polina bags. This is where I have my pants and my dresses. I tried to color kill them a little bit. So here I have the white, the black, and the colorful ones are down here. And I kind of tried to do it also with my sweater. So you can see here I have the beige ones. Here I have the white, beigey, darker stripes. And same with shirts, white, blue, green. I have a lot of white and blue lately, I don't know why. And the shoes, that is the vanity that I got. So I'm gonna try to link all of this, but I decided to get this chair that moves because sometimes I also use it for the office. There's Masha. So I'm gonna go organize also the dolls bags. The room where I have them has several lights, so that's gonna be off camera. I will pack and ship the bags that I am letting go. So in case anyone is interested in any of them, Redelux will have them for sale quite soon. It's super hot, so I don't wanna be in the closet anymore. But thank you so much for sticking around. This was something that I definitely needed to do and dust everything off. Again, I do recommend you to use the dust bags for your bags. But if you want to have them on display, remember to dust them off quite often and make sure that you have usually. Right now I have them open because I'm filming, but I have the window shut most of the time. So this room doesn't have like direct sunlight unless I'm actively here. Every surface is always like quite clean. I try to give them the best care that I can without like being overbearing, but I do want to have them on display. And we'll update you when I get the shoes because I am very excited. I don't really do Prada shoes much, but these ones were very cute. They were very similar to the Chanel ones that I want, but these ones were actually available in my size on Farfetch, so I went for it. Really excited to receive them. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'll leave you to do this right here in case you want to check them out. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye!